Breaking news, my country people. The internet is on fire. Daddy Freeze, in a recent live broadcast on Facebook, had really spoken a lot on the fuel subsidy removal and the increment in the fuel pump price to 617 naira per litre. He related it to Peter Obi, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, and Atiku Abubaka, the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party. Now, that the freeze really, really defended Tinibu and said that the pump or the increase in the fuel pump price is not the fault of Ashuweju Bollard and Tinibu. So, Tinibu should not be blamed for the increment of the fuel pump price. Now, he said, if Peter Obi had become the president, the situation would have remained the same. It would have been the same. The decisions that Tinibu is taking now would have been the same thing that Peter Obi would have done. So, my country people, this is really quite serious. We know that Daddy Freeze is a social commentator and have uh, made a very huge statement concerning Peter Obi that if Peter Obi had become the president, he is very sure that he wouldn't have sold Anambra State to pay the fuel subsidies because there was no allocation on ground to for the payment of the fuel subsidies for the month of June, for the month of July. Buhari left no allocation on ground. There is no money in this country. But then, that is why Tinibu had to remove the fuel subsidy on his first day as the president because he had no other option but to do so. And Peter Obi would have done the same according to Daddy Freeze. Atiku Abubakar would have done the same, according to Daddy Freeze. So, my country people, this is quite, you know, interesting. Now, in a recent broadcast on Facebook Live, Daddy Freeze spoke about the increased fuel pump price in relation with uh, the Labour Party presidential candidate, Mr. Peter Gregory Obi. Now, the social commentator said, if Peter Obi had become the president, he's very sure he wouldn't have sold Anambra State to pay the fuel subsidies. I'm saying this because Tinibu met no allocation for fuel subsidy and the same thing would have happened to P2B or Atiku Abubaka. Without the allocation on ground for the fuel subsidy, they cannot do any magic. Speaking for that, Daddy Fris said, I also want to point out here that those saying President Ashwedi Bolad Metinibu is Buhari Pro Max are ignorant. The increase for pump price is not Tinibu's fault, so he should not be blamed for it. Well, my country people, this is serious. That the freeze have warned those Nigerians that are going around saying, Oh, Tinibu is now the Buhari Pro Max. We are seeing, uh, you know, another premium Shege. Instead of renewed hope, we are seeing renewed Shege because now. Tinibu has proven to be far more worse than Buhari. But know that the freeze is saying that Tinibu shouldn't be regarded that way. Instead, we shouldn't blame Tinibu. Nigerians should not blame Tinibu for the increment in the petrol price. Instead, we should blame the four marketers because currently they are the ones regulating the price of the four. Again, that the freeze said. I think sentiment is what is making people don't want to think straight. People need to understand that I am not here to make an excuse for Ashwedu Bola and Metinibu. The only thing I disagree with him is over the deregulation of the dollar. He ought to have halted the dollar deregulation a long time after the fall subsidy remover. And the dollar deregulation was important, but not urgent. Lastly, Daddy Fris said that those who are saying Tinibu should cut the cost of governance needs to understand that he cannot start doing that in just one month or two in office. If he starts cutting down costs now, how would he supply fuel at 187 naira per liter? So, my country people, what are your thoughts on this? Because Daddy Freeze has made a very, you know, important statement, making it known that Tinibu is not to be blamed for what is going on in this country. 
that the government they no longer have control on the fuel price so the fuel marketers now they are in charge they are the ones controlling the price of the of the petroleum so tinibu should not be blamed for this increment but people tend to blame president tinibu because he did not set down measures to caution the effect of the subsidy removal so my country people what are your thoughts on this however nigerians have reacted peter obi is a trader he understands market force more than tinibu obi would have still removed the subsidy because he mentioned it during his campaign the approach would have been different i'm sure tinibu was in a hurry to impress nigerians and make us forget about his tinted mandate in the process he has made a very damaging blunders like it or not nigeria needs a peter obi as president to navigate us out of the mess created by a disaster from daura the nigeria's problem is irredeemable the government is simply not secure what peter obi was going for him is integrity honesty competence and love for humanity daddy freeze you are one of the problems we have in this country why would you mention peter obi and anambra state does it mean that anambra people voted only for obi every tribe is complaining about the high cost of living both the Igbos, the Hausas, the Yorubas, why would you bring in tribe into this statement? For those that are complaining, Nigeria is not irredeemable. Tinibu was not prepared for presidency. He only wanted to come and expand his frontier. The Lagos that Tinibu managed has more than enough to steal, but that cannot be said about Nigeria. Lagos has been the fifth largest economy behind Nigeria and three other African countries to me, underperformed because of this gross mismanagement of funds. Everything that Tinibu achieved today was because he stole so much from Lagos. Take for instance, the election he hijacked was because of the money in his possession. Those his Yoruba appointees thought that the banquet would continue in Lagos, but unknown to them, it was a different ball game. Let's move forward though. Everybody that will run Nigeria profitably Profitably, we must be disciplined, ability to manage resources, and knowledgeable. Well, people like Freeze are the are more sentimental than any Nigerian. Talking about people being ignorant, he is also more ignorant than any other person in this country. Guys, these are reactions from Nigerians. So, my country people, what are your thoughts on this issue? I'm dropping here. Kindly share your thoughts concerning this in the comment section. Thank you. Bye for now.